Hello, uh, I'm uh, Mikke Nordin and uh, this talk uh, I was awarded a few more minutes so it's not exactly a lightning talk, maybe high voltage but not lightning grade uh, and you will have the opportunity to ask a few uh, questions as well. So um, it's possible to run Nextcloud of course in, in containers uh, but it's not always fun so uh, we have um, 54 Nextcloud instances varying from uh, running in a single Docker container to spread out over like uh, 12, 13 uh, virtual servers running in Docker. Um, and uh, one way to get your uh, bearings as if it's a, a, a good idea or not to run your app is to check it against the 12 factors. So this is like a manifesto or um, a checklist, let's say, uh, for running containerized workloads. So it has a few uh, provisions that you need to to follow to be able to do this good uh, for app. So the the first ones uh, with the code base is basically use uh, version control, uh, have your dependencies uh, sorted out and uh, compartmentalized. Uh, have the configuration uh, in the environment, um, uh, have a clean interface to your uh, backing uh, services, use uh, uh, the same uh, like binary for, uh, for your testing and releasing and have uh, all of these uh, nice uh, things. And uh, this is uh, what we can glean from uh, analyzing Nextcloud using this uh, framework. So, yeah, it's, there's no real problem with the code base or the dependencies. Um, but we still have some issues with the configuration. We have the config.php uh, file. It would be much nicer if we could have all of the configuration in the environment or in the database. To have a not uh, when when running over uh, across of uh, many load balance services, for instance, it's a pain to be having to keep the configurations in sync between the different front end servers. So we it's possible to do this, of course, and we do it uh, using Puppet. But you could have any kind of configuration management system to do it. But it would be much nicer if you didn't have to. Uh, uh, we have a uh, really, um, it's possible to use uh, S3 for storage and you can have um, Galera cluster to have a distributed uh, database across many different services. You can have a Redis cluster uh, for your Redis. Uh, so all of this is, is possible with Nextcloud, which is uh, nice. Um, and uh, we build our own Docker images and have a nice uh, release and run workflow, so that's cool. Um, but the processes uh, with the um, cron jobs, for instance, uh, you need to have a full Nextcloud uh, image running where you run your um, cron jobs. So that's certainly an area that could be improved as well. Um, and uh, one issue uh, that we find is uh, that uh, when we do upgrades of Nextcloud, we have to roll out our new images across multiple servers. So, uh, I mean, across all of our environment, we have uh, maybe 150, 200 virtual servers running Docker containers that we need to uh, upgrade uh, and uh, sync. So that means that we uh, by necessity, have to have downtime when upgrading between different uh, versions of Nextcloud. Um, and uh, I mean, you, you need that if you run it on a single s server as well, uh, but it will be shorter because you only have to run OCC upgrade and, and you're done. And we need to have uh, multiple uh, load balanced servers in the same state. Um, uh, we have, uh, it's uh, possible to have the Docker containers disposable and you can, everything of that works. And we have a, 
a complete mirror of uh, our production environment in a test environment and we can bring up this uh, nice uh, development um, workflow so all of that works well but I still haven't been able to get uh, the next cloud log uh, coming in a nice way to standard out so uh, there, there's certainly these kind of things that we uh, would like to be able to uh, improve and uh, admin processes that connects also uh, back to the the other uh, processes uh, so like doing administrative tasks is not always easy it's not always possible to do things with the OCS API for instance you need some things with the OCC command so uh, these are um, areas of, of improvement but certainly it's uh, possible and doable uh, and I think if we uh, as a community work together and learn from each other then it will be uh, even better in the future so I would uh, highly encourage everyone uh, to get in touch uh, with me if you're running uh, Nextcloud in, in Docker or uh, in Kubernetes uh, and uh, things like that we would love to uh, compare notes with you uh, and also there will be a workshop tomorrow uh, at two o'clock here if you're here for the com contributor days that we will talk about uh, these things uh, as well so all of the the good stuff uh, I mentioned and the, a lot of things are really working well uh, with Nextcloud um, but there are uh, some issues uh, as we talked about so uh, secrets and uh, and all of those things uh, should uh, not really be have to be stored on file on disk uh, environment for secrets and not non-secrets can be in the database um, and uh, you need to set maintenance mode in the configuration file uh, all of these things uh, i already mentioned uh, and we are also now going from running things on virtual machines um, in Docker to, to uh, moving to Kubernetes. And there are uh, its own separate issues there that we need to, um, to think about. Because uh, running in Docker, uh, we can have everything just mount the um, configuration file into uh, the next cloud container but to have a config maps and things like this in in kubernetes we need to have some kind of persistent storage uh, backing that so uh, it's possible to do with uh, so we, we run we use cinder uh, in openstack to keep our configuration files so um, and i think this uh, there's not a lot of um, a community around these sorts of things and i think it would be good if we could build that together so yeah uh, are there uh, any questions regarding this? Thank you very much. I'm happy to um, pass the microphone around for some questions. And I'm also, there's one over here. Tomash has a question. Do we have a microphone at all? I can bring one. Hello. Hello. Um, <laughs> Thanks for a great talk. I'm really happy that uh, I don't feel like the only one running this in Kubernetes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running this in Kubernetes. I'm happy to compare nodes. It's definitely super interesting to see someone else do it and how you deal with the issues. Because yeah, for sure there's some like hacks and and, and uh, workarounds you have to use, the config map and and uh, secret management, and you have to like inject them into the file live if you want to store them somewhere secure. So yeah. Uh, hit me up if you if you like. Yeah, thanks. So we we have a init container that starts up and uh, basically injects all of uh, the secrets into uh, a file uh, from the init container from the environment. So yeah, yeah, you're right. You can do lots of workarounds, but uh, but it's never like super clean. I no. do the same with Vault. I have a Vault mm. uh, init container that picks up these subcommands in Kubernetes and when yeah. it says, okay, I need a value from store, it just injects it and then, but it's not clean. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any other questions in the audience? Anyone? I'm happy to ask one. 
uh, I'm curious about the workshop tomorrow. Can you give us maybe a little teaser on what, what you'll visit? Yeah, so, I mean, we, we'll uh, talk about these uh, sort of things, but I don't feel like I have all the answers, and I think it's like a, a true workshop where we can sit, there, sit down and look at uh, actual issues and try to see if we can solve them. Some things might be needed to be solved within Nextcloud itself to get support for stuff, so we might start to have to write patches. Uh, but the other things we can do with the tooling or uh, following some, uh, figuring out some best practices. So I think that will be what the workshop will be about. We'll talk about these uh, things from a, a bit of a longer slide maybe, and then we can uh, get down to the nitty gritty, yeah. I think that's where the magic happens, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'm curious as well if you have any tips for someone who's just, maybe they're uh, Kubernetes curious and also Nextcloud curious. Do you have any like quick tips that would help them really advance their progress? Um, I do, but I don't think there is some straightforward documentation or something to point to. So maybe that would be... Um, yeah, I, w I would definitely be be available to add uh, documentation to the Nextcloud uh, uh, documentation site for running running Nextcloud in containers, and I think that may be a good thing to look at how how you can do it. Yeah, sounds like a really useful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, anyone else in the audience? Last question. No. Thank Thanks. you very much.